Hi Aries, this is your reading for March the 1st to March the 15th. And I will let you know, Aries, this, that you're a very masculine sign. And your favorite word is, I am. I am this. I am that. I am doing this. I am doing that. You can be very selfish. Um, you are incomplete without a partner or lover in your life. Uh, you strive for happiness as a couple, as a pair. Uh, you're prone to headaches. Uh, you, you have you can have minor in, injuries as far as your head and your face. You have to be careful. Um, your lucky day is Tuesday, and your lucky numbers, two of them, are 1 and 9. Um, your special color is red, the color of fire and excitement. Um, danger from harm is fire and sharp objects. Stay away from them. And you're prone to accidents, um, high speed, and tend to get in violent and dangerous situations. And that's the matter of the heart. Okay, watch who you sleep with because you'll never get rid of them. And that's where all your problems lie. Uh, Aries, uh, if you want to know your Aries, um, Aries starts off at March the 21st to April the 19th. Okay, so Aries, let's get on with your reading. Okay, now we have Friendship. And we have past life. So some of you right now have a lot of people that you're dealing with. Um, you could have four women in your life, four men in your life. Uh, but some of you have a lot of people in your life that you're sleeping around with. And that's not cool. Um, and I also feel like you want to get back with somebody. There's somebody that you really love, but your entertainment is sleeping with these people or having all these friends as far as males and females, then that's not going to work with the person that you truly want to be with. This is not going to work. Okay? Your karma. Your karma, you got uh, karma and union. So I will tell you this, Aries, and this is for every zodiac sign. The door of karma is opening. If you haven't got caught up in your shit, you're going to. Some of you are in a three-way love affair. Some of you are sleeping with a married man or married woman. The karma is going to come on you because you know they're married. Um, it's going to come on them also. And then a three-way love affair, I see. But also, I just told you, Aries, you're going to be called out on your shit. Whatever you're hiding from this person that you love and they love you, um, it's going to come out. They're going to find out all about you. All your shit is coming out. This year in 2020. And that is your destiny. That is your destiny right there. What's going to come out. Now you got the gossip. There are people gossiping about you Aries. As far as whatever you're telling your friends. Um, male or females. Um, maybe your neighbors are seeing multiple people coming in and out of your house. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. You're being talked about. Um, maybe some of your friends know you're sleeping with multiple people. They're gossiping, so you got to be careful of that. Some of you uh, are just working. You're traveling, and you're working in the month of March. Some of you don't even care about a relationship. You're trying to make that money, and, you, uh, and you're working. Now, some of you are dealing with a man, an older man, um, and he's not taking no shit, Aries. Um... Older people have more common sense, <laughs> a lot of them, um, but he can be very controlling. Uh, he wants what he wants when he wants it, so you have to be careful of that, okay? Now, some of you are dating like crazy. Um, some of you are in an open relationship uh, that want to date other people, or you're in an open relationship and your mate doesn't even know you're in an open relationship. She's thinking she's with you. And then some of you, see how he's looking and how she's waving her hand? Some of you know that you're in an open relationship to make this relationship uh, good, but then some of you don't know that you're in an open relationship and your partner is cheating on you. Some of you are just a dating queen getting all kind of gifts. Uh, some of you are just kind of sitting around. You're not doing anything but work. You're kind of staying uh, a loner to yourself. Okay. Some of you have your freedom. You want your freedom to do whatever it is that you want to do. Now, some of you are in love with the twin flame. But as once again, as I say, 
you're out there cheating, doing whatever you want to do. But this twin flame, you're not letting them go. You got a new love coming in, Aries. It's going to come in fast. Some of you are going to meet a very mature woman, um, much older than you, okay? Especially if you're a man and if you're a girl or a woman, uh, you're going to meet a man that's older than you. But you definitely got new love coming in. Some of you have too much control over money. That's all you think about, Aries. Um, and then some of you, like I say, are very controlling in your relationships and money. Um, some of you are just working and trying to make that money, trying to stack that money. You're not too concerned about a relationship at this time. Some of you are dealing with a very young mar uh, male. I didn't even know these cards were going to come out like this because I just shuffled them. Some of you are dealing with a light-skinned male. Could be a different nationality. Could be African-American. Uh, they could have brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes. But some of you are dating a very young and fair male. Some of you got a courting man. Um, he wears a business suit. You're dating him. But this is only going to be short-term. This is not going to be a long-lasting relationship because he's a player. Some of you are having passion within your life now with these people that you're sleeping with. Like I say, Aries, some of you are sleeping with a lot of people and some of you are not. Some of you are just about your monies. This is a general reading, okay? Um, a lot of you are having uh, extreme makeovers. You're buying your clothes for spring. Um, you're doing your hair different. Uh, some of you are in the gym. Some of you are losing weight. Now, some of you are involved with a twin flame or soulmate, and they have children, or you have children. And I see three children here. Or you're going to meet someone that has three children. Some of you are going to meet someone that's very long distance from you. And this person is going to be a true gem to you when you meet them. Yep, because this person is going to be your soulmate that you're meeting in March. Now, some of you Aries are with someone where there's not enough of traction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. This is for the ones, ladies and men, that you know that they're cheating. Okay? You know that they're cheating. Yep, because that's the deception card. Somebody's wearing a false mask. So somebody that you're messing with is married. Or you guys are in a three-way love affair, Aries. And someone's wearing a false mask. I would say it's him because he's got two women here. He's got two women. Or it could be a woman that's got two men. Okay? But somebody's wearing, definitely wearing a false mask. Somebody's cheating here. And I'll keep saying this. Some of you have freed yourself already from this cheater, from this liar. And I feel a lot of Aries um, are dealing with uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra. Um, you freed yourself. You said, no more, I can't deal with this shit. But then here comes the reconciliation. You're sleeping, you're having the deception, right? You're having the deception. You're sleeping with multiple people or dealing with multiple people or in a three-way. But then you want to reconcile with this person from your past, this person that you still love. How can you reconcile with them when you got all this shit going on? Because the chemistry is still there. You guys love each other. There's no doubt about it. You know, it's crazy. This relationship is all over the place, but that's how Aries is a lot of times. And then you don't know what your other signs are that you're mixed with. That's what I call You don't know what other signs are in your chart. So you need to check that out and watch my other videos. Right now, like I said, a lot of you are just worried about your finances and career. How to make that money, how to stack that money. There's some obstacles in your way. There's some obstacles in your way. The obstacles is, once again, you love this person from the past. You're still hanging on to them, but you're dating all of these people. You're dating all of these people. 
That's your obstacles right here, people. This is, this is your obstacles right here. You're dating other people, but you want this person from your past. How do you think you're going to get this person from your past if you're screwing all these people, a lot of you, and being um, with these people? Now, a lot of you are going through spiritual growth, growth right now. You're becoming more spiritual. I still see the three children. Some of you have three children by this person, or you have three children, you're divorced. I will say this. Some of you are in a, a love triangle, and you've had, you slept with two people, and here you got three children, okay? And here we have two fathers. These men or women don't even know you've been sleeping with, this woman's been sleeping with two men or the men were sleeping with two women. And then you have children. And some of you don't even know who the father is of these children. It could be frick or frack, the way that I say it. And then some of you are in a love triangle. A woman has two men, a man has two women, and you're trying to figure out who the hell you want to be with. Communication. I feel right now the communication is slow between Aries and an ex or someone from the past. Um, you sit there and wait by the phone. They never call. They have their phone shut off. Uh, they're not texting you. They're not calling. And you're texting and nothing's happening. That's because they're with someone else. Yep, because if you're a man, if you're a woman dating a man, there's another female involved. Vice versa, there's another man involved. There's somebody else involved, Aries, with your partner. Your past love, you still are in love with your past love. Because you remember the fun times you used to have with them. It wasn't all bad with the person, but you still remember the fun times you used to have with them. And you feel like this person, this female, this male was your true love from the past. So if that's the case, why are you, men, why are you dating multiple people? And women, why are you dating multiple people? If this person from your past. Yep. Because of what I see of the women that you're still in love with. One has red hair. Or burgundy hair. Could be a wig, could be their hair. And then one has brunette. They're a brunette. So there you go. This is your ex's males. And very soon, very soon what? This could be the one. So, yeah, some of you are still hooked on your ex. You're not going to let them go because you still love them. Right now, like I say, you guys are becoming spiritual. Um, there's still attraction there. There's still romantic feelings with your ex. So this is for the month of March of 2020, March the 1st to March the 15th. I feel that you will be connecting with someone from your past. Uh, you will also be meeting someone new. But I still feel that there's someone from the past that you can't let go. Okay, and it's hard for them to let go. But Aries, you got to stop lying. Okay, so this is Born With A Veil. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for my fans. If you'd like a reading, please text me at 313-401-3707. God bless.